Hello everyone and welcome to the Zone of Tech. This is Daniel and this is a bricked iPad. Now, how do you know it's bricked? Well, it's rebooting over and over again. Now, you probably had this problem with your iPhone, with your iPod Touch, with your iPad 4, iPad 3, iPad mini, whatever. So, uh, when your device is bricked, it basically means that it is booting over and over again. It is unusable. Uh, so, what can I say besides Thank you all for watching this video. There is no way to fix uh, to fix this. So uh, thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel Zone of Tech, and I'll see you in the next video. And uh, cheers and congratulations for breaking your iOS device. <laughs>the infinite boot loop or a bricked iPad or iOS device, so uh, enjoy! Okay, so the process is pretty straightforward. So what you want to do is uh, connect your iOS device, in my case it's an iPad 3, uh, to your computer via USB and open up iTunes. Okay, so the fix is pretty pretty simple. So what you want to do is uh, hold both the power button and the home button at the same time until your iPad or your iPhone or whatever turns off. Okay, so now it's off. Now hold the power button, just the power button for a couple of seconds until the iPad logo is, uh, is on. Now hold both the power button and the home button at the same time for 10 seconds. So that's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then release the power button and keep holding the home button uh, until iTunes recognizes that your iPad or iPhone or iPod Touch is in recovery mode. And uh, there you go, the iPad is now in recovery mode. You must restore this iPad before it can be used with iTunes. So simply click OK and then uh, click restore iPad. Well, in my case, it's an iPad, but uh, in your case, it might be an iPhone or an iPod Touch. So are you sure you want to restore this iPad to its original factory settings? Uh, everything will be erased. So uh, once again, quick restore and update and uh, iTunes will start downloading iOS 6. Now once again, it will restore your iPad to iOS 6 and not iOS 7 because iOS 7 hasn't been officially released yet. And uh, if you're watching this video uh, after September of 2013, it will restore your iPad to iOS 7 instead of iOS 6. So uh, as you can see, my iPad is installing iOS 6. Uh, I believe you can tell by the different logo by the old Apple logo which was found in, uh, in iOS 6 because iOS 7 had a different logo. So uh, anyway, I will be back once the restore has finished. And ta-da! The iPad is now running iOS 6 once again. So uh, this was it. This was my tutorial on how to exit that annoying boot loop. So once again, this works on any iOS device, iPad, iPhone and uh, iPod Touch. Now keep in mind, this is iOS 6, this is the uh, installation of iOS 6, why? Actually the configuration of iOS 6, uh, because iOS 7 hasn't been officially released yet. So just in case you want to install iOS 7 like I did on my uh, iOS devices uh, and you don't want to wait until September, just click the annotation above and you will be taken to that video. Uh, anyway, let me just set up my iPad, so what you want to do now is connect to Wi-Fi network, click next, enable location services, Click next once again and then you have a couple of options. You can set up as a new iPad, you can restore from an iCloud backup or you can restore from an iTunes backup. So I'm going to restore from an iCloud backup just because I want to get all of my data, all of my apps, photos, music, uh, actually not music, but uh, videos, everything I have in my, I had in my previous iPad before uh, the boot loop, uh, I want to get it to my new iPad. So to say, well, it's not actually a new iPad, it's just a restored iPad. So let me just type in my ID and password and I will be back once I have set up my iCloud account. So okay, now what you want to do is simply select a backup. So in my case, I'm going to select the backup from today, so from uh, 
p.m. Actually, I did. I break my iPad on purpose just for this video. So uh, uh, don't forget to give this video a like just for me breaking my iPad for you guys. And there you go. iOS 6 is back on my iPad. It's not fully functional. My iPad is no longer rebooting over and over again. So uh, this was basically it. This was how to fix the uh, how to fix a bricked iOS device, how to unbreak your iOS device, or how to get your iOS device out of the uh, infinite boot loop. So uh, thank you all for watching this video once again. If you want to install iOS 7 on your iOS device before September, uh, before the official release, just click the annotation above and you will be taken to my video in which I show you how to install iOS 7 on your iOS device for free without, pay, without having to pay for a thing. So uh, once again, thank you all for watching and keep in mind, if you're watching this video after September of 2013, uh, your iOS device will restore to iOS 7 and not iOS 6, but uh, iOS 7 hasn't been officially released yet, so that is why uh, it has restored to iOS 6 instead of iOS 7. So once again, thank you all for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, so thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. It helps me out a lot. Share this video with your grandma on uh, Facebook, Twitter and Google+. Plus. Favorite this video and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more epic videos from Zone of Tech. Okay, so thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed this video because it helps me out a lot. It pretty much tells me that you enjoyed this video and uh, I'll keep making more videos like this one in the future. So once again, thank you all for watching this video. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, follow me on Twitter via Zone of Tech. And uh, also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. And guess what? I have a Samsung Galaxy S4. And uh, yes, I am going to do a lot of videos covering the Galaxy S4. I already did a video which was the unboxing of the Galaxy S4 and the first look. So um, if you haven't seen it, just click on the invitation on the right hand side of the screen and you will be taken to that video. Also, before I leave, I have a question for you which is what videos do you want me to make featuring the Galaxy S4? Because I have a lot of videos in my mind, but maybe, I know, maybe you want to see a different video. So uh, just let me know in the comments section down below and uh, I'll see you in the next video. And until then, you know, like as always, cheers. Get high,